everybody and welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be filming a little beauty haul so just going to show you a few bits and bobs that i picked up recently from amazon basically even though they are obviously like different makeup brands but there's mainly makeup but there is like I think one skincare item in here just to kind of show you what i picked up just because i felt like it i'm wearing one of the i'm wearing actually all of the products on my face today pretty much especially the lipstick so you will see that very shortly but i just wanted to talk through everything so um let's get into the video so i've got my little basket of things to kind of show but first of all i will start off with kind of like the first thing that i did get which is actually a skincare item i got this which i actually picked up from lidl like just where i do my food shopping and it was literally 87p or something like that and it's a facial wash slash scrub it says the brand is creighton's or something but it's the pink grapefruit daily face scrub now when i saw that i was thinking like oh do i want to get this because it says it's a scrub but i thought there is a high chance that because it says daily face scrub that actually it won't be that much of a scrub and i don't want a facial scrub because a if i wanted to scrub i would use my own coffee scrub and just gently exfoliate my skin and b i've got the peeling solution from the ordinary which exfoliates my skin so i don't need a scrub for the exfoliation purposes but I just wanted something that was cheap as like an everyday wash and I do kind of like the facial washes that say that they're a daily scrub because they've got a few kind of scrubby particles in so it's kind of nice to really cleanse the skin every single day. What I found with this is that it really lathers up on the skin, it really washes um, the skin nicely and it smells great, it's grapefruit and I just like the fact that those little scrubby bits just kind of add that little bit extra to like a normal everyday facial facial wash and yeah I really love this I've been posting about it on my Facebook page and my Instagram about how much I really love this because for the price I would highly recommend I'm trying to save money at the minute so I'm just getting kind of cheaper things and honestly I love this and also the second thing I love about this is the packaging like does anybody else like that I just think this packaging is really nice it says it unclogs pores with walnut shell and lifts away dead skin cells for clear radiant skin I really love this and if you're the kind of person that likes your skin to feel really really clean after you've washed it rather than kind of soft then I would recommend this one then I went on Amazon and I picked up a few things I was just kind of in the mood where I just felt like I wanted a few new makeup bits I was kind of running low on certain things and I just kind of felt in the mood to just buy a few things I've been watching Jeffree Star on YouTube and just makeup people in general on YouTube and I just felt like you know I just wanted something you know kind of new and and I just wanted kind of just to update a few things and just to make sure the makeup that I was using wasn't expired and stuff like that but anyway first up I picked up this this is the wet and wild photo focus foundation I've had this before in a different shade I had it in I think nude beige or something like that or light beige I don't know I just had it in a different shade a lighter one than this and i really enjoyed that foundation because it didn't like go cakey on my skin i tried a lot of foundations and this one in particular blended really nicely it layers up on top of itself really nicely and it just doesn't have that kind of cakey feel it's not full coverage i would say it's kind of like a medium coverage what does it say on here not sure if it says what the coverage is but i would say it's a medium coverage and uh, or maybe like a light to medium i would say it's a medium coverage and I like that for my skin type because I don't need like masses and masses amounts of coverage on my skin especially in the summertime you don't want to be like you know caked up with makeup so I really like this foundation I did pick it up in the shade classic beige which is a tiny bit too dark for me or you know quite a bit too dark for me I do have it on my skin today but I have kind of like blended it with my concealer which kind of blends it so nicely so it doesn't actually look that dark but I think if I'm like fake tanning and stuff then this will blend really nicely and will match I haven't tanned my arms or anything in like a month so I've got no tan on me whatsoever but when I do it will match a lot better so in the summer this will be great the reason why I picked it up in a shade that wasn't quite matching to like my actual skin tone was because this was the cheapest one on there and again trying to save money for some reason the different shades on Amazon cost more money and I saw this foundation on Amazon for about £16 and then I also saw the exact same product this in a different shade sold for £5 so obviously I am going to get the £5 one so yeah picked that up and very happy with that so far the applicator is like a little 
thingy, a spatula type thing. So you just kind of swipe it on. And I quite like that because it means that you can just get exactly the amount of product that you want. I think sometimes when there's a pump, you know, there's a tendency to accidentally pump too much product out. So yeah, I really like this. Next up, I picked up a conceit. Oh my God. It's literally like a delivery man right outside from Tesco's getting somebody's food out the van. Um, he can't see me, but he very much could if he just moves a few, um, a few feet, yeah. No, he's gone. The next thing that I picked up was actually from e.l.f. and obviously on Amazon as well. And this was the 16 hour camo concealer. This is the packaging, but I have actually been using this for the past kind of few days. I saw on Amazon that the reviews of this said that it is very light for the shade that it says it is. I think this shirt, yeah, this says it's the shade Fair Warm. Um, it is very pale. Like, can you see how pale that is? It's almost as white as my walls if not whiter, actually it is whiter. Um, it's very bright, you can see on my face, it my, my under eye area and kind of chin and a little bit on my forehead. It might look very bright and that's because this is a light shade, which is good for me because my foundation is kind of dark. So it means that they kind of blend together in a nice way. Like, can you see the difference in the shades between those two? Um, they kind of blend nicely. So it's kind of like almost a natural bronze because you highlight with this. I would not use this for spot correction all i don't even you know correct spots with concealer anyway but yeah i use it to lighten and brighten i've never used this before and i actually think it is really nice coverage it is pretty damn full coverage i think it was only like three pounds something like it wasn't amazingly expensive because you know i don't want to waste my money and the dope foot applicator is really large as well which i really like don't know why i just do and yeah overall this is a great concealer my first impressions is that it is very full coverage if you don't like cakey kind of full coverage concealers then this is not the one for you but i really like this i would recommend you know going a shade up from this one if you don't want it to look like a ghost but because my foundation is really dark this goes perfectly so yeah really love that i'm super happy with that also, this was actually something I just bought technically on a night out or, you know, I had a few drinks. This is the collection pressed powder in the shade 18 ivory. And I picked this up because I accidentally smashed my powder on a night out. I did discuss this in my May feelings, favorites and fails. Yep, don't know what happened. I just did. And then I immediately ordered another one. Um, on Amazon literally straight away and accidentally used my brother's card details some reason they're automatically saved I don't know so I owe him a milkshake he says I didn't have to pay him back um but this is the one that I went to uh, repurchase it was £1.99 on Amazon I'm pretty sure I am here for cheap powders they work super well like I don't think you need to spend loads of money on powder unless you're you know you can and you just want to for the fun of it but I really like cheap powders for me it's all about really mattifying my skin and if that's the kind of thing that you're going for then you know this is just decent powder I have oily skin so I like my whole skin to be kind of matte um, when it comes to makeup also from Amazon I picked up this which is the Technique Get Gorgeous Highlighting Powder this one is in the shade don't know what shade this is in but it's quite a kind of like pinky shade it's actually like a pale pinky kind of silvery shade so it has got a subtle hint of pink to it but not really that much i've got it on my cheeks um today down my nose a little bit and on my cupid's bow i actually really like this it's quite a lot of product for the price it was only like two pounds something and yeah i really like the shade of it and pigmentation is quite nice you know it's not you know crazy so it won't um like you won't pop it on your skin and you look like the tin man you can build it up basically to whatever you like you can have it subtle or you can have loads so i actually do really like that and um thankfully it does actually match my skin kind of well by the way, if anything looks funny on my makeup, I'm really sorry. I cannot amend it on the camera because I cannot see myself in the viewfinder, which is kind of annoying because I'm actually really far away. The camera is zoomed in, but I'm really far away from it. So yeah, I cannot reach you. It looks like I'm close, but I'm not. Then I also picked up some lash glue. So this is the lash glue. It's the lash adhesive from In Vogue, I think it says. And it's just... A standard eyelash glue i've never actually used eyelash glue before or eyelashes because i could never apply them properly and i think it's because i never had a glue i picked that one up it was only a few pounds and the eyelash glue looks like this 
the little tube and you just pop a little bit onto your eyelashes and then kind of just let it get a little bit tacky and then pop them onto your eyes got my eyelashes on today if you're interested in which ones i'm using they're from cara beauty 100 percent human hair it says and i got this off of shop miss a a while back i quite like them but i need to practice you know applying them because when you've not done something like this before it's you know a little bit of practice makes perfect kind of thing and i just personally think that the inner corner especially of this eye is just not sticking down properly today but i'm gonna try my best and i do really like them i want to try some more eyelashes i'm kind of like more on the natural side when it comes to kind of eyelashes so i want to find some like super natural ones but yeah i'm glad i picked that up because that's really helped me when it comes to like applying the product and finally best till last i suppose we could say i picked up some liquid lipsticks this is the makeup professional beauty glaze matte liquid lipsticks actually i think i've had something from beauty glaze before ah oh, i have i've got this shimmer palette which is like a glitter palette for your eyes that is a really nice palette like it's pure glitter and you just stamp it onto your eyes that is amazing so yeah they actually do some great stuff for very affordable prices basically this cost me five pounds something and i've got six mini liquid lipsticks which i think is a really good price because that means that you can try loads of different shades it is obviously small like little minis but you know i think with liquid lipsticks you don't tend to get through them that quickly anyway and it just means that you can try a variety of different shades some of them are a little bit more kind of autumnal vibed especially the one that i've got on today um which i just wanted to try on today because every day i've been trying a different one just to see what it looks like and today's was this one um which i actually really like like i think i like this it's more like an autumn vibe lipstick but i like it so i'll talk you through each shade really really quickly they're the names of the Kylie lipsticks I've just realised. Exposed, Dolce K, Coco K, Candy K, Kristin and Leo. I don't know which one's which because I accidentally might have like put them in the wrong order but oh no it says on the bottom of them but yeah that's funny that they named them after the Kylie ones. Um, but this one is in the shade Exposed. It's like kind of like a pale kind of pinky shade. Try and swatch that. So that's like a super light kind of shade. Then we've got this one, which is Dolce K, which is actually probably maybe my favorite one. I quite like this one. It's more like a kind of brownie nude kind of shade. So yeah, I like that one. Also the formula of these are quite nice. They don't have that kind of sticky feeling where your lips feel like they're sticking together every time you do it. They don't crack on your lips really that much and they don't like peel off but the problem is is if you have any drinks or anything the middle part of it will come off just to solve that just reapply the product straight after like it's not that deep but um sometimes liquid lipsticks can be a little bit annoying because of that this shade is coco k so this kind of like almost like pinky purple shade i would say so that one is that one and then we have this one which is candy k which is more of kind of like a pale kind of pinky shade with a subtle hint of purple in there i would say as well and then this one i haven't actually tried yet this one is Kristen, which i will try probably tomorrow or the day after which is more of kind of like a pinky shade like a kind of ready pinky shade that's actually quite nice i think i will give that a good go tomorrow super happy with these as well um, and then this one which is one that i've got on my lips today which is actually a lot darker on my lips than in the lipstick like can you see that but this is what it looks like as a swatch so like a kind of ready brown almost um which i quite like but on my lips it does look pretty dark so just bear that in mind um but yeah that is everything i think that is a really great kind of like little kit um just five pounds something that's amazing but yeah that is everything that i recently picked up this is my little haul i think overall my favorite bits and bobs are really love the scrub i do have to say i do really love this like little daily wash the lipsticks have to be up there as a favorite and to be honest i do love everything but i think top um top things is definitely um the facial wash and the lipsticks because they're just fun to use and it just spices up the look like it just makes everything look like this makeup look it makes it look so different than if i was to wear no lipstick so yeah that is everything um so thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and it was just a little kind of beauty haul please give it a thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe for another video which should be coming on friday at 9am but don't quote me on that i've been quite bad at you know 
sticking to the timings that I say. If I say I'm gonna post a video on a certain day at a certain time, nine times out of 10, it doesn't happen. So we're gonna change that. We're gonna make that change. But yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.